Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure JBX latest version that is 7.0 on RHL 9. But the process is same on all RHL 9 or CentOS or Alma Linux or Oracle Linux. Okay, so in this video we are using the RHL 9. Open Firefox or any browser, then go to JBX official website that is JBX.com. See here, JBX 7.0 LTS now available for download. Okay, it is the monitoring tool for the all in one open source solution that lets you monitor anything. Now click on download. See here, the JBX latest version is 7.0, and older versions are 6.4, 6.0, 5.0. Okay, so select 7.0, then in the OS distribution, select the RHL. See here we have the Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Click on it. Then see here we have the OS versions from 6 to 9. So, so select 9 and the Bix components select server, front end, and agent. And dead, see here we have the two types of databases supported MySQL and PostgreSQL. And web servers Apache or Nginx. So we are going to use database as MySQL and web server as Apache. So for that, first step is we have to install mysql i haven't installed mysql so install mysql and also notice the important point at the time of making this video mysql 8.4 not supported for the jbx 7.0 okay so we have to install the versions lesser than the 8.4 so go to just run the command sudo dnf install mysql server i will keep all the comments in the video description whatever i am going to execute in this video hit enter then provide the password of sudo user. Type Y for confirmation. See, it is installing 8.0.36. Type Y and hit enter. We have successfully installed MySQL 8.0.36. Let us connect to it. sudo control L to clear screen. sudo mysql why because mysql server is not started. Okay, first verify mysql server status. sudo systemctl status mysql mysql d. It enter. See mysql service is not started and it is disabled. So we have to start it by running command sudo systemctl start mysql d hit enter. Now enable the mysql service sudo systemctl enable mysql d. It is done. Now verify again status mysql d. See mysql service is started and it is enabled. Why we need to enable it? Whenever Linux machine restarts no need to start the mysql service manually so to start automatically mysql service we have to enable okay now connect to mysql and set the sudo user password that is root user password first connect my sudo mysql then set the password for root account alter user root at the rate localhost identified by give the password we have successfully set the password and we have connected. Let us exit. Now connect to MySQL. MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. Then provide the password. See, we have successfully connected. Let us verify the list of the databases. See, these are the list of the databases comes with MySQL installation. So the prerequisite for JBX is MySQL is installed and configured. Next, we have to install the Apache server. So Install it by running the command. Exit. Control L. Not only Apache 2, we need PHP extensions. So, to install Apache 2, run this command. I will keep this command in the video description. So, it is going to install Apache server and PHP and its extensions. So, hit enter. You can find this command in the video description. Type 5 for confirmation and hit enter.
we have installed now we have to check the status of apache service that is apache web server so sudo systemctl status httpd see it is not started and disabled so let us start it sudo systemctl control l sudo systemctl ctl start httpd hit enter okay we have successfully started now enable apache web server it is done now start the php service sudo systemctl php fpm start sorry we have to give the service name first service name last it is done now enable it you can find these comments in the video description okay it is started so prerequisites that web server also configured now again confirm we have selected jbx server 7.0 os distribution rhl then version os version 9 then jbx components mysql apache okay also verify os version more slash etc os hyphen release see we are on the rhl line version is 9.4 okay but 9.12 or 3 anything is fine control l to clear screen after selecting all this scroll down see here we have the commands to install okay first we have to disable this inbuilt or jbx components so edit this file by run copy this one sudo vi paste it hit enter see nothing is there so we are going to create it i2 insert and copy this one paste it save the file wq exclamation then next step is we have to install the repository copy this one for these comments i will keep this link in the video description okay hit enter so error is permission in it so we have to give sudo at the start and hit enter it is done now clean this all sudo dnf clean all it is also done next we have to install jbx server front end and agent okay because we have selected server front end and agent so copy all these commands from this dnf to up the jbx agent copy it then give this sudo then paste the command hit enter type y for confirmation and hit enter type y and hit enter See, we have successfully installed JBX server front end and agent. So now we have to initialize the database. So connect to MySQL, control n, put MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. Then provide the password that we have set. Now create the data. See, here first it is creating database, then it is creating user, then it is granting permission to this user on this database. Then it is setting global variable. Okay. Copy from this create to semicolon copy it paste it hit enter it is done again create user 
notice here it i am giving password if you want to change the password for this jpx user just replace this password okay so this is not grant paste it hit enter now set this global variable copy it paste it hit enter quit now run this command to import schema and data okay copy it sudo paste it hit enter then provide the password of jbix user so we have to give this password if you have given the some other one then you have to give that one so give password it is done now connect to mysql and disable by setting this global variable okay mysql hyphen quit now edit the jvx server config file copy this one then we have to set the db password as this password okay so sudo vi paste that file with full path so scroll down come down again see here we have the db name and db user here we have to remove the hash in front of db password remove it remove the space shift a then give the password password for this user is password see this is the jbx user here we have given the password as password so i am giving the same password escape save the file after this we have to reload or restart jbx server agent and http and php we have already restarted anyway restart them again control l paste it hit enter oh i forgot to give sudo so it is asking password for next command i am going to give uh, sudo okay copy it sudo paste it hit enter it is done okay we have successfully installed jbx server and configured now we will see how to connect to jbx web ui so copy this link open new tab paste it instead of host you have to give the host name here host name is host name see host name is local host okay or give the ip if config see this is the ip you can give ip or host name so host name is local host hit enter see this is jbx welcome screen click on next step see all checks are passed because status is working click on next then select the mysql see database is installed on this pc so give the local host port number 3306 database name is jvix username also same then provide the password password is password then click on next don't say here jvix server name see this is the jvix server name so give the local host copy it then select the theme see we have the four types of themes you can select any one of them i am going with the default one then select the default time zone as per your requirement then click on i am going with the default one zone. so click on next step see this is the pre installation summary so click on next step see we have successfully installed jvx server front end okay so click on finish now connect to jbix dashboard provide the password provide the username username is admin it must be the caps a otherwise it will throw error password is jbix i will keep username and password in the video description then click on sign in don't say see we have successfully connected if you click on users then users see username is admin okay this is the last name name okay if you want to change the password click on it then click on change password then we have to provide the new current password new password and again confirm with new password then we have to click on update also see here jbix server is running jbix server version 7.0 jbix server front end version also 7.0 okay so in this video we have seen how to install and configure jbix server 
7.0 LTS version on Ubuntu operating system. For more JBX videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.